scalenes are wicked important. <laughs> Very important. So what do the scalenes do in general? What do we tend to, to think of them as? Guy wires that hold your head up, breath, respiration. So they, with your chest breather, they're lifting those top two ribs. So we don't tend to think of them as postural muscles because we talk about them more as a breathing muscle. But if you're driving in the car with your perfect posture and then you sure. lean on the, on the windowsill, there go your scaling tension that you're holding for hours at a time. That alone can make, make them set in enough that it could be problematic. If they get tight enough that then now when I go stand up straight and I'm trying to walk somewhere, scalenes are still tight, it's going to be hard for me to walk with my head tilted so the ribs are going to come up. And if the ribs come up, it really shrinks the space between the clavicle and the ribs where the nerve comes underneath. So the nerve bundle, the brachial plexus comes through there, so that rib space is really important for reducing thoracic outlet syndrome. On top of that, the scalenes themselves can put enough pressure on the brachial plexus and they're loaded with trigger points that also refer down into the hand. So if you can release the scalenes, you might reduce some of the, that's really my number one go-to for people that have issues tingling, any kind of weirdness down the hand, down the arm. I'm gonna check scalenes first most of the time.